turn my dog into a Squishmallow. Not really, but I did custom make a squish that looks just like her because Rosie is obsessed with her squishmallows. This is how I did it. If you're anything like me and have an unhealthy attachment to your squishes and don't want to cut one up for a pattern, there is good news. Someone else already did that. And for $7.99, I get a pattern and all my squishes get to live another day. A win is a win. But this is just a basic pattern, which means I have to customize it to look like a Rosie. Because I'm picking one solid pattern and cutting it into multiple pieces, you'll want to make sure you add a half an inch or you're going to run into major problems. Major problems. So we're powering through. And power through I did with a needle right through my finger, as if I was not already frustrated with all these curves and circular shapes. Now I'm bleeding all over everything, We're pulling my whole act together. We found comfort with the iron, because believe it or not, if you iron this flat, it looks great. You know what didn't look great though? My eyes. Go ahead, ask me how many tries it took. It's nothing a bunch of stuffing can't fix, because truly, stuffing this changed my life. And then I hand sewed the back shut. She's so cute. She is so cute. I can't get over it. Happy birthday, Rosie. Here's your own personal squash. I am never doing this again.